Hello and welcome to Previously on Grim Tales. Today is January 19th and here's what happened last week. In Odyssey, the search for Ulysses, it turns out we haven't found him yet. We're stuck on the island of Lamis with some shady merchants. There we are taken willingly and escape from the Lustragonians by the power of sledding. We then visit Circe and her lovely island of pigs. There we are also transformed but yet again managed to escape by helping Circe out. We then are transported to the gods and our soul is judged, somewhat harshly, I would say. Finally, we begin our quest to create the libation to summon good old Tiresias, whom no one seems to know about. We also begin a playthrough of Dead Space, with only a few episodes in. I've really been enjoying this game. I'm excited to see what to do with the remasters soon to release, though I don't see myself picking it up anytime soon. We then switch to Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. We're progressing fairly quickly, and I feel like we're finally getting the story going. We also play through the guest demo. This game has been out since 2016, but the demo is still available. It was a nice little demo. Not much else to say. On the live streams, we're playing through Dark Souls, a soul quote unquote soul level one run with our famous Bonk Man. The four kings were first and foremost. I think it took about eight hours of grinding this boss. Turns out a combination of Power Within and the Red Tearstone Ring, along with a lot of practice, will do the trick. We turn our attention to the Bed of Chaos. Along the way we take care of Ceaseless Discharge. Poor guy. The Demon Fire Sage is next to fall. Not too difficult, just have to watch out for his large explosions. The rest of the stream is spent grinding the Centipede Demon. What a lesson in greed, indeed. Patience and practice and some luck finally get him. We end the week with another Dark Souls stream, still running around Lost Isolith. We take on Dark Spirit, uh, Night Kirk, and other baddies. We make it to the Bed of Chaos and take her down, uh, eventually, one life at a time. This sets us up to battle Quinn in the final fight. We just end up dying over and over again, as usual. Uh, hopefully this isn't another Four Kings situation. Oh well, we'll get him next week. Right.